Okay, the next line of code that we're going to write is the line of code that's going to allow us to essentially click on this button here and jump to my letter scene. I want to take note of that I've got several scenes in play here and one of those scenes is referred is labeled letter that's the one I want to jump to from my main scene. So I'm going to click on letter button and I'm going to go to my properties panel and I want to make sure that I apply an instance name to that. As it, is, as it stands there's no instance name and I just want to refer to this as letter btn and I just use a um, uppercase there at the end just to signify that it's a button. I always want to have an instance name because in ActionScript 3.0 and 2.0 it's going to refer to that instance name in my code. So once I have that applied I'm going to go into my action script here and I'm going to start writing my code. Now what we're going to start with is we're actually going to call a function. We're going to use this chunk of code here. And one of the ways that we can navigate is via frames and scenes in our movie. So we're going to write our first line of code is going to look like this. It's going to have a um, function. We're going to call a function. We're just going to label it letter nav and we're going to call we're going to have a mouse event which essentially what this what this whole chunk of code is going to do is it's going to load mouse events inside of our flash movie and it's going to listen for that mouse event and the specific mouse event is going to be a click so when i click on the mouse my left click on the mouse on that particular button then it's going to proceed to the next frame. So I'm going to copy this over here and I'm going to go into Flash and I'm going to go drop down to my third line and I'm going to paste this directly into my code. And I've called my own custom function lane, lane, name letter nav, so that's custom name. This can be whatever you want here for letter nav. Then the event is going to be a mouse event here, so we're going to keep that the same. There's no variable here, so I'm just going to have type void at the end. I'll have a colon between that. And then I'm going to tell Flash to go to and stop on a frame number and the name of the scene. Now I want it to go to and stop on frame 1, so that becomes my frame number. The name of the scene is letter, so I'm going to type that in there. And then down here at the bottom is the instance name of my button, which happens to be letter btn. And advent listener, which in turn is has flash listen for the left click on my mouse. It's a mouse event. And when it does, when it clicks on that um, on that particular button, it's gonna call my code. So I want to have the function in there because what it's what it's telling Flash to do is listen for that mouse click. Once that mouse click happens, I want you to run this function. This function is going to uh, call for Flash to go to and stop on frame one in the letter scene. So I'll wait till this plays out my animation, which it does, stops because that's my very first line of code. I'll click on letter and then it navigates to my letter scene. So as I continue to apply the rest of the code, I would do the same and the only thing I would really start to change up is this would be another name and then these would go to different scenes. It would still be the same frame one and then this would be the instance name of my new buttons and that's how everything would work. So really you can just copy and paste this chunk of code several times and modify it to fix or fit your other buttons in your movie.